What's up, guys? Welcome to a new edition of Delta's Rant. This one is going to be about the PS4. This is not about the PS4 itself and, you know, the small amount of people who have problems with This is about the people who actually bought them. Now, I have no problem if you bought one. Kudos to you for being able to actually find and purchase it. This is towards mainly the people who bought more than one. Now, I've seen... I've already seen a screen capture of someone holding two of them up. Now, I didn't watch the video, but this person more than likely bought two for himself. For To me, that is disrespectful for those people who go to countless stores looking for this item and are unable to get it. Yes, I know, not everyone can get what they want. Not everyone can find a PS4 and be able to purchase it. But to the people who are able to do this, but they go out and purchase multiple, it is completely wrong. And I think that they should have a rule in stores that state that you buy one per person for, for anything of that price range because it gets ridiculous, okay? Now... You can hate me all you want about this. You might be one of those people who bought two, one for yourself and one for a friend. That's fine. I'm talking about the people that bought two for themselves. I know people who do that. And it, it is wrong to me. Now, I have two consoles. Where's I have a PlayStation 3 and I have a Wii U. Now, did I buy those at the same time? Hell no. I bought the Wii U, like, almost a year ago. Like, a, 10 to 11 months ago. PlayStation 3, like, one month ago. Now, I, I remember a day. I'll, I'll tell you a story. I remember a day. I went into GameStop months and months ago. This is, like, a month or two after they started doing pre-orders for these consoles. And... This dude had pre-ordered, and they allowed this, a PS4 and an Xbox One. Now, to me, you should choose one or the other. Because that's leaving less product for other people to be able to purchase. Like me, I was a week... No, not even a week. Three or four days away from being able to pre-order a PS4 myself... I would have it right now. You would already see an unboxing video for it. But the thing is, I was unable to get it because the mass amount of people who got one. And there could have been countless people out there who got two or three. Now, me, I don't buy multiple consoles at once. I don't get that kind of money, and if I did, I still wouldn't do it. I wouldn't get an Xbox One and a PS4 right away. I would get one wait a couple months and get the other because I know one could be better than the other. Yes, and I did that in order. PS4, Xbox One. Haha. -ha. I'm not saying Xbox One's going to be bad. I'm just saying when it's... I've already done a rant video about that. But mainly, this discussion is about those who buy two for themselves. Now, people who buy them, um, like, they get two consoles and they're going to give one to a friend or get one for you know, someone else, that's fine. But, I still think they should have a limit for that to where you can only purchase one per customer. Now, you could come back a couple days later and purchase another. That's different. I'm saying, if you walk out with two PS4s, you're going to have a lot of gamers pissed off at you, especially the ones who will stand in line for hours and hours and get to the front of the line being told that they cannot get it because People walk out with two or three of them all at once. <sighs> to me, it disgusts me to see people who are that greedy that they won't allow other people to have a certain thing. Now, video games are different. You can, you can look on a shelf at any gaming store or talk to them or anything. They have three or four, maybe five times as many copies of a brand new game than they do a console. There's a store I went to. They had seven. All of them were gone within 20 minutes. And they told me that two of them were bought by the same person. Four. No, wait. 
Two are bought by one person, and two are bought by another person. Same. Two people bought four total. Why? Seriously, you're not giving a chance to anybody else. The, get, the systems were gone in ten minutes. That's ridiculous. Yes, I know, it's just seven, but that means there are people standing out and waiting. What about Black Friday? Look at how bad Black Friday is going to be. Unless Sony and Microsoft are like, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to send 100 to each, not 100, uh, 50, yeah, 100. Send 100 to each store around the country. That would make me happy because at least everyone would have an equal amount of chance to get one. Walmart, a couple years ago, had the PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii all on sale for like 100 bucks. Everyone had a chance. And how do I know this? All the people that were standing in line got what they wanted, and they had plenty more left over, and they walked around the store trying to get rid of them. They need to do that with these new consoles. They could get a hell of a lot more sold. Like, Black Friday comes around, they knock off, like... 50 bucks and ship out 50 to 100 to each store around the country. They could get them all sold, and I guarantee you that. But will they do that? No. It's called build up. Yes, they could sell a ton if they wanted to. If Sony has a Black Friday sale, they're like, okay, every every one of our products is 50% off, and the new consoles are $50 off. Will they sell them? Hell yes. I will be in line for that. If I'm guaranteed a system, I'm not going to go stand in a line of 20 people and they say there's only 10 consoles. If I'm like the 11th person and I know I'm not getting one, I'm getting out of line and walking the hell out. I'm not going to stand there and wait. <sighs> but, but that's just it. It's a ploy. Sony has sold a million of them already. But there are so many people out there who don't have, get a chance to get one. They go back to the stores hours or days later, hours, days, weeks later, and we they still don't have any more. Why? Because Sony, they're, they know what to do. They had to build up all the way up until launch, and then they have more build up until they ship more out. But like I said, every store needs like 50 of them. There's another store has at least 30 of the Nintendo 2DSs in a single day, and there are still a bunch of them there. Why? Because people aren't interested in that. They're interested in the 3DS. Yes, this is a 3DS XL. I did an unboxing video for it. But people look at the 2DS and they're like, we don't want something like that. We want PS4. Xbox One, and maybe occasionally you hear the guy, oh, what, uh, Wii U. I got, I got a white Wii U. I'm happy with it. I don't care if they did drop the price down to the other, the three or 32 gigabyte. Mine's an eight gigabyte. I'm happy with it. I paid, I paid 300 bucks for it. I don't care. I like my, you know. And yes, I would like to have a PS4. I'm excited for games that are out for it. You know, there are some games that are Xbox One I'm excited to play. Will I play them? Eventually, not right away. But for the people that are out there that are taking them all away by buying two, three, four of them at once, it's not giving equal opportunity to other people. Now, I know plenty of you out there will be like, oh, you need to shut up. You don't, uh, if you wanted one, you would have went there and stood in line. But I'm not one of those guys. I'm not going to stand there in line for hours and hours, and I'm not guaranteed a console. Now, on the opposite hand, if I go and stand in line, they hand me a receipt and say, just stand in line for a couple hours, and uh, 12 o'clock rolls around, we'll hand it to you. If I'm guaranteed a console, I will stand out there for hours. If I'm not, I'm not going to stand there. Okay? I know, I've been talking a lot. It's just, uh, I just see these people. Okay, the people that I'm okay with doing this are the reviewers. Big time reviewers. I'm not talking about the guys who review like me. I'm a re I'm not really a reviewer. I don't have fancy smashy stuff. I sit here and talk about games. I'm a reviewer, but I don't get review copies. So if you see me with a console, if you if a couple months from now you see me with a PlayStation 4 controller, I bought that myself. I didn't receive a review copy. The reviewers who get them, 
I'm okay with them having two because that's the review console and then they have their own personal one. The people that make me mad are the people who buy two or three personal ones. You don't need it. Do you really? If you're one dude with two PS4s, you don't need it. But like I stated, if this person bought it for another person as a gift, fine. Perfectly fine. But if you're buying two or three for yourself, you're just sick. Okay? It's equal opportunity for all those. Now, sheer out of miraculous luck that Sony happens to see this and they're like, this kid makes a lot of sense. And they do what I say. I want millions and millions of views on this video. I don't want to see people hating on me, people loving me for my opinion. I want to see Sony do this. And I'd like, you know, whatever. I'd like, hell, I'd even like for Sony to be like, okay, we're going to choose a, a hundred people in the United States or other countries that they sell it. And we're going to give them free copies. We're going to give them free PS4s to promote the PS4 for more people to buy it. And it, that you get more publicity if you have more in stock, free giveaway, which Taco Bell had those. Taco Bell did it. You know, Sony allowed them to do that. Uh, you know, more copies, lower prices. You know, if they drop the price for a couple days, they'll sell more. But this rant just went from me complaining about people having too many to promotions and stuff. I guess, I guess it all fits. You know, I've been talking a long time about this. You know, the Wii U was sort of like that. But Ninten Nintendo's bad about having a lot of games in stock at stores when they release. There was a game called Scribblenauts Unmasked that a GameStop that I live near had one single copy. One on release day. That's ridiculous. That is that is pre-order copies. That's new copies. They're just one. Ridiculous. Now, give or take, a store like GameStop gets 10, maybe 20 PS4s, and you see a dude walking out with four. Dude needs to drop half of them and go home. Yes, am I a little ticked off with GameStop? In a way, yes. Because when I first started my new job back in June, I was going to pre-order a PS4 that next week because I had the money to do it. It cost $50 at that time to put one down. Three days before I could do it, I see a news article stating that they were not accepting any more, which I find crap because Sony can dish out. They sold a million. They can dish out two million of them if they wanted to. But no, they didn't do that. They're building up anticipation for more people to buy them. Now, Black Friday, if you're not lucky enough to get a PS4, kudos to you. I guarantee I won't have that kind of chance because I will be working that day and I wouldn't ever get a shot at. It'll probably be till way later till I get mine. Probably... February, which I'm hoping because, you know, it, the next Infamous game comes out. You know, I am an Infamous fan. I have I have the second one. I have the first one downloaded on my system. You know. But, <clears throat> thank you all for watching this video. I hope you somewhat enjoy it. I know it's me just ranting on and on. That's what it's supposed to be. Me talking about people who get several and don't need it. You know. In all actuality, if you are able to do that, if you have the money to get anything and you worked hard for it, kudos to you. But don't be greedy about it. Don't get several consoles for yourself or several games for yourself. I see people do it. You know, me, I, I've never walked out of a store with two old consoles under my arm laughing about it. But for those people, this is me concluding, for those people who are able to purchase a PlayStation 4, purchase an Xbox One, both, several of one, whatever, kudos to you. To those people who do not have it, but are wanting to get it and are able to buy it now, 
wait. Give it time. You will get yours. I will get mine. You will get yours. Everyone will be happy eventually, you know, sort of. You know, without all the problems that are coming down with it. Usually new consoles always have a problem. This didn't. Haha. -ha. No problems yet, except for dust. So just give it time. You will eventually get your console. You will have fun. Play kill play the new kill zone game. Play the next infamous. Play Knack or whatever the name of that game is. But be patient. Black Friday comes around. Don't be angry. Don't be put shoving people for the console. If you can't get it, that's fine. You will eventually get it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this rant video. This extended rant video and I'll see y'all in the next Pokemon Silver because that's the next video that's coming out view the Pokemon Tri channel to see it later